Hello. Given the skill with which you dispatch those robots, we of the town of Overlook thought you might give us a hand, so to speak. So, first item on the agenda, we're all dying of a brain disease. If you c c could get us three shipments of medication, we would live, which uh, would allow me to keep paying you. Our m medicine machine needs a new battery. Please climb the clock tower ladder and remove the clock's battery. God damn it, some jackhole broke the clock tower! How the hell am I supposed to know what time it is now? You found the battery. Plug it into our medicine machine and buy some skull shiver medication, P -p please. Once I find out who thought we needed a running clock more badly than we needed shiver medication, they will be thoroughly reprimanded. Get your health and shields right here. Good Thank luck. you, but we need two more medicine shipments. The next is carried by a traveling Hyperion requisition officer wandering the highlands. Get the medicine from him. Without his guards, I'm sure the salesman will give you a good price for his medicine. I suggest killing them politely, if possible. What? T'as pas vu le dos d'âne <rire> C'est passé quoi Great You're very efficient. I respect that. The last medicine shipment was being delivered by boat, but we lost contact. Find it, please. LOL <rire> Tant qu'à faire... Screw you! You can bring me medicine all day! It don't make you less of a skag sucker! Appreciate it. Ok... Sorry about Dave. He's a... Uh... We try not to talk to him. Return to me for your agreed upon reward. If I had ten people like you, this town would be running like clockwork. The Hyperion Grinder Lottery is all Now that our bottom. brains aren't going to rot from the inside, let's move on to point two on my agenda. Revolt. If we are to shake off Hyperion control, the town will need a shield like sanctuaries to protect it from moonshot blitzes. If you could donate some shields to the town, I could scavenge them and build us a shield. Just drop whatever shields you no longer want into the grinder. Oh, c'est bien. J'en ai peut fait euh, récupérer exprès. On peut faire des dons. Up. Better quit now. 
Thank you for your input, Dave. No. Unsurprising. Overlook shield is finished, and I would very much like your help testing it. Head to the Hyperion outpost near by and get to the mortar cannon on the launch pad. Hey, Karima. Know what's even better than having a working shield? Not being a woman. <laughs> oh my god, shut up, Dave. <laughs> Comme tu dis. Oh oh, et mode. Il y a deux modes pour toi. Please ignore Dave and aim the cannon 55 degrees port bound, 86 degrees skyloft. We'll need Overlook to sustain a direct hit from the mortar to test the shield. <rire> J'espère que la ville sera encore là pour les derniers challenges. <rire> oh la garce Bon oh, il avait cherché aussi Ouais mais, mais quand même Most efficient The shield works Overlook is safe and No Dave This is truly a happy day Return to me at your earliest convenience. An old boyfriend of mine, name of Taggart, was hired to wipe out the stalker population a while back. He also, adorably, tried to write a book about his adventures in the Highlands. You find the chapters of his book, and I'll plagiarize the living daylights out of them for mine. Win, 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 as they say. Nobody says that. I say it. I am going to die. Roland forcibly relocated me to Sanctuary for what he claimed was my safety. But the slackjaws who populate this city make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. I stared back at her, my mind screeching as I looked for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. As pleased as I was at the time, I fear causing fountains of blood to shoot from my face will not be a viable long-term strategy for avoiding conversation. Ah bah c'était là où je pensais être plus tôt. Attends, je vais le chercher, je reviens. Today, as I was pinning a disemboweled skag to my front door to dissuade others from approaching it, what does Jack want with the vault key? Was the key simply charging the entire time I possessed it before Jack crowbarred it from my bloody hands? Was it waiting to unleash its alien powers on Pandora to make Iridium appear from the very ground? Was it preparing itself to unlock even more alien ruins? I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home. I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of sanctuary citizens. Pourquoi tu frappes la voiture? Parce que je l'ai bloqué. Ah.
presque. Attends, descends là, descends là, descends là, descends là. Tourne à gauche. Derrière. Voilà. Voilà. Ah bah non, pour les dessus ça marche. Oh non, je suis loupé. <rire> ok. Tout c'est moi. Tout doux. Tout doux. Non mais non. sur la tête. Yesterday, I had a conversation with another human being. Granted, it was only a conversation in as much as my grunts of social terror could be taken as human speech, but Roland did not seem to mind. He asked me why Jack hasn't revived the warrior yet if he has the key. I conveyed that the key needed to be charged by iridium, hence Jack's mining operations. He nodded and silently wiped the streams of my saliva from his face. I returned home, confused not only at his lack of disgust toward my behavior, but my lack of disgust toward him. For the first time, I felt as if I could actually live in Sanctuary. For the first time, I, I feel as if I might be okay. You know my favorite thing about Dave? He's dead. <laughs> 